You're, you're facing off against a top five team in UCLA. What are you trying to learn from this group uh, this first weekend? You know, you know, we think we have some decent pitching. Uh, so, you know, we, we, we kind of know where we are. But we have about seven new position players that you don't know. And until you, you know, put them up against competition, you want to see how they react. So um, it, it, I'm, I'm learning. I'm still learning. I don't know for sure. You know, I think John's club is a pretty established older club. He has a, is a good idea. I, I'm, I'm like starting from scratch. So that's what I'm just, you know, see, you know, some play some guys and see how they play and then try to figure it out as the season progresses. Sean Mooney on, on Fridays for you. What have you seen from him, the development of him from when you first brought him in as a freshman to now? Hey, Sean Mooney, it's very simple. He's a winner. He's a winner. He doesn't give in, doesn't panic. He, he, he just, he's, he's a position player pitching. He knows what's going on. He's very conscious of what's going on. And, uh, you know, the crazy thing about Sean Mooney is maybe he's not the, the prospect, but uh, he's a winner. I'm a major league club. I want a winner. I'm mm -hmm. the guy that wins. You know, he's one of these guys that's always, you know, knocking on the door, breaking through walls. He's not. He's never been handed anything. He's always had to earn it. And you know, we're probably pitching the big leagues because that's the mentality the kid has. I love his his energy. I mean, you, you see him not when he gets a strike out the end of the inning. Of yeah. course, you see that with pitchers. But yeah. in here at, in the eighth inning, when yeah. it's starting to sprinkle, and he's the guy st sitting outside the dugout, you know, cheering on he's his guys. A big team guy, leader. Team guy, winner, you know, picks his, you know, he picks the guys up in the dugout. Even when he's out here, a guy makes a mistake, and I got you, hands go, next play. So that's what just a, that's the type of kid he is. And, uh, you know, we, uh, we're blessed to have a kid like that. How much does that help as a coach when you have a, you know, your, you know, your top pitcher be a guy like that? Well, you know, and listen, when, you, when you're playing Friday night, you know, you, you know you know you got a chance to win every Friday night. Um, plus it also takes a lot of pressure off the bullpen. Obviously, early in the year, we, we you know we're conscious of his pitch count and we're right where we want to be. Um, you know, as the year progresses, we may want to extend in certain games, but uh, it's too early to do something like that. How did you feel about his performance tonight? I thought it was I thought it was good. I thought he made pitches when he needed to make pitches. Um, you know, although his velocity is not you know 92, 93, 94, gets a, gets a lot of swings and misses. You know, and. Um, and he just has just does. I thought his secondary stuff wasn't as good. He made some quality secondary uh, pictures when he when he when he had it to. But uh, um, competes. I, I, this is what this is this is. is I don't think it was one of his best games. That's what he gives you every every every, every mm -hmm. Friday night. And last thing for you, just I know Nick Mondex. Uh, you know the performance wasn't great tonight, but how much does it? How enjoyable is it seeing him back out there finally? It is. It is. He's uh, you know he's he's. It's been a long road for that kid. Um, you know, I you know, quite frankly, when he came in with, with Sean, we thought we had you know one and two punch. You know, they, Mondak is a right, a left-handed version of, of um, Sean Moon.